chance for the opening goal. That's a cool finish. That's no doubt about that one from Paolo Bernardo. 24 minutes on the clock. Bernardo still had a bit to do. He was through one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He'd come off his line very quickly. So Bernardo with the little chip into the back of the net to give Celtic the lead. Home. Taylor wants it. Inside him is Palmer. Now home. Does a one-two with O'Reilly. Chance now for Odin. Home for a goal, and he's got it. 32 and a half minutes gone. Little one-two there between Odin Home and Matt O'Reilly. And Odin Home gets his first Celtic goal, and it's 2-0. Uh, great for him, you know, because, as I say, he's got lovely feet. He moved the ball well. He sees his position, he's wee sharpness with Matt. He had the quick one too, he gets a nice touch on the ball. A good finish, he gives the goalkeeper the eyes. As if he's going to slot it to the keeper's left, pulls it to the right. Just perhaps didn't get the connection he wanted. And at the other end, Kyogo has got the connection he wanted. And he slots that one into an empty net for Celtic's third goal. Well, he's had a couple of chances up until now. And he finally gets one, but he can't miss. And it comes from the cross from Abada. Right on a plate for Celtic's Japanese marksman. Coming in, oh, what a strike that is from Luis Palma on the left foot. Well, they've seen him cut in from the left-hand side onto his right foot that time, cutting in from the right onto his left foot. And he got some power behind that one. Or some welly. And in the 50th minute, Celtic have a fourth goal. Johnson cutting in from the right hand side, little nutmeg across the face of the goal, and it is a first Celtic goal for Rocco Vata. Brilliant. Standing where all good strikers are, right in front of goal. Lovely build up play from Mikey Johnson, laid it on a plate for the youngster, and he was on hand to prod the ball high into the roof of the net. It's five for Celtic. Breaks out to Greg Taylor. Palmer goes for goal again. Well, he was aiming for that far post. Just couldn't get enough bend on the ball. This is a reminder for all spectators.